Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new video. Today we are testing out a new game called Nin Online. This is like a Naruto Ninja MMO and I'm excited to try it out. So let's just go ahead and create our character really quick and just see what it's all about. All right, so it looks like you can pick your starting village. Um, I'm gonna pick the Mist Village. I always like the Mist Village's like symbol and stuff, so I'm gonna do that one really quick. All right, and you can pick between a male, a female ninja. You can pick different hairstyles. I'm gonna pick this longer one, it's pretty cool. Ooh, I like that scar eye. I'm gonna pick, then I have a blue eye for my scar. And then my hair is, uh, I'll just go with the regular brown hair probably. That's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, just, I'm not a crazy ninja with white hair or anything like that. And then we can pick our starting shirt. I'll go with the purple shirt and the purple pants. Or maybe I should go with the black pants. I'll go with the black pants or the rebel. Oh, it looks like you can actually pick a clan too. It looks like clans are a beta feature. Should I join a clan or should I be lone wolf? I think I'm gonna be a lone wolf for now just to like start out. Um, I don't have like a family backstory or anything. I'm just a regular ninja. All right, looks like the game is loading up really quick. Welcome to the world of ninja. Where ordinary folk live in comfort, their days are filled with laughter. A world where the balance between peace and war hangs on a thin, uh, thin thread. Where ninja villages fight it out in feuds. All right, so there's like a lot of stuff here. That was like that was definitely Naruto. So this is like Naruto holding a cat. So today we are gonna become a ninja, and it's asking us now what is our ninja. We gotta find our ninja way, boys. Oh, look, we got like a little little cutscene thing here. Um, okay, so listen, we're still like there's like a text thing down here. You guys can't really see it. Oh, we can move. We can move. We use Z to interact with stuff. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, oh, we can hold shift to sprint. We can Naruto run, my dudes. Okay, enter the academy hall and take lesson, take four lessons in each classroom. Okay. But before you can go away and become a ninja of the Miss Village, you must finish the Ginin exam. Enter the academy hall and take the four lessons in each classroom. Pay attention to everything as it will be tested in the written examination. Okay, okay so you just press shift. You're not going to hold it down. You press shift once, put you in run mode. Oh, we're not ready to take the Ginin test yet. Um, I guess we got to go down here. Okay, look, there's a little arrow that's pointing for us to go this way anyways. This is pretty cool. I'm excited. This these are the four rooms that we're talking about. We're going to learn different things about being a ninja today. I guess let's start with the first room here and see what it's all about. So we have lesson one, masteries. A master allows you to learn the techniques of the nature. At level 10, you may pick your first mastery. At level 50, you may pick your second. Once you're level 10, you can open your character menu and spend your mastery points. There are five elementary masteries and three non... Okay. We got it. So I'm gonna skip this stuff. I don't need this. I'm a ninja pro. I don't need to know any of this information. I'm literally just skipping through the entire thing. All right, there we go. We completed it. We completed the first room. All right, and we got scrolls here. There are hundreds of techniques, aka jutsus in the ninja world, to learn new techniques through scrolls, like the one placed in your inventory. Open your inventory with the I key and double click on the technique scroll to learn from it. Press the J key to open your jutsu tab. From there, you can double click on a technique to use it. We've got I here. Um, how do we learn it? We can destroy it. We double click it. We learned it. Okay, then we can hit. Uh, I think it's... Oh, man. What am I doing? J to use my jutsu attack here. Now, I don't want to forget the move. I just want to know how to use it. Z is basic attack. Okay, I see what it's doing now. Okay, I have no idea what's going on right now. Oh, I think I got to build up jutsu by holding down C or to build up my chakra or something. I have no idea. I'm about to figure out how to do this. I'm building up some kind of bar here, though, by holding down C. Oh, maybe... Did it put it in, like, a number thing? A hotkey or something? I, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to read a stupid scroll again. I cannot... I can't do this. Okay, I don't know how to use my jutsu. Do I hold C while he's attacking me? Okay, I double clicked it. Oh, it worked. Okay, I did. I'm so dumb. I almost died because of that. All right. Hopefully, we don't die anytime soon in the stupid tutorial. That would be awful. All right. So here we go. Okay, we're gonna practice some basic range tools. There are three types of range tools: shurikens, kunais, and sinbuns. Okay. Uh, each of these are special tools. All right. We're gonna figure it out. Okay, we gotta pick up the tools. We can press C to pick stuff up. Okay, we got some kunais here. How do we? How do we throw stuff? <laughs> I forgot how to throw stuff. I feel like there should be an easy way to do this. Looks so like you gotta click at the same time while you're doing that. But I feel like you should be able to equip it and then like press a key or something. I don't know. Yeah, okay, I think I killed enough of these things. Okay, there we go. Bruh, I just got smacked. You fainted. You may choose your hospitalization plan. I have. I have no plan. Bruh, I just got smoked the tutorial. When you find her in combat, there's no medical ninja around to restore your combat strength. You'll be returned to the village hospital. Oh, if you like go next to a bed, you can, or if you sit next to like a thing, you can actually sit on them and lay on them. All right, we've got one more room to finish up. And I apologize for being such a bad ninja, guys. All right, we got this dude here. Why was that guy already in here? It's okay to lose sometimes. The trick is to put it together and try again. Are you ready to basic combat clone of mine again? Talk to me when you're ready. Okay, what is this thing here? Can we break this thing? No. We can break the other ones, but not that one. Yes. All right, we're going to fight this guy here. I think that was supposed to like be part of the game for him to kill us because we had like low health or whatever to teach us like the mechanics of the hospital or something. All right, there we go. We did it, boys. We completed all four rooms. I think we can go become a guinea or whatever. I feel like it's still very early to do that. But we're about to see uh, what's going to happen, though. Karakawa, we are ready. Enter the academy hall. Okay, whatever. We did it. We did it. We can start this part now. Basic. We're we walking on water. Or was this like just shallow water? 
All right, here we go. Basic theory. Take the basic theory exam warning. If you're a new player, skipping the test might leave you clueless later on. Okay, we'll hit the test just to see our ninja skills or whatever. There are 20 questions. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll just hit the exam, guys, and I'll just skip past this part so y'all don't have to, like, um, do whatever. All right, this test sucks. I'm skipping the whole test. All right, we can become ninjas now. All right, where do I want to wear my headband? That's the question. All right, I think I'm going to wear a black one around my neck potentially let's wear it around my neck all right there we go i think we are a ninja now all right first things first i gotta put on my neck band or whatever the thing's called all right there we go dude we are wearing this bad boy uh we actually have our ninja thing on here all right let's see what these guys have to do we have to get our first mission or whatever hey what can i do for you um i guess we're looking for our first mission all right so you can press m to open your mission log here we got bad larva kill 35 larva we also got bloody missions Ask Mandora the mission on my desk for more information. All right, there we go. Mission completed. Rewards, we get blood pills. These are special pills that replenish one's health. Okay, so it's like a potion or whatever. Oh, it tells you the award before you finish. I thought I finished the quest, but we're just doing some other stuff here. So we got to visit uh, Avery to talk to the Joan. I don't know where that's at. Are these doors we can leave out of? These things here? Oh, yeah, they're all doors. I guess the thing has like 500 doors or something like that. Oh, it does. It has a lot of doors. All right, so here we are, guys. We are in the actual game now instead of the tutorial. This is insane. Let's see if we can get somewhere where we can actually take on and knock out these larvas. All right, we're like in the middle of the village now. I guess this is like an area, but I'm trying to leave so I can do some quests. I don't know where to go, honestly. The spa is this way, but I don't need the spa. I need to find the way out of the village is what I need to find. All right, I think I might be going the right way, but I have no idea. Start tracking. So that way you can push this button here to do the start tracking or whatever. Um, bad larva. We need to kill. How do I leave this village? I have a map up here in the top right, which we can expand and decrease okay we can have a we have a lot of stuff we can see here bro why is this village so big this village is huge either i'm still in the tutorial or this is just an empty server where nobody picks the mist village as a starting place uh, because i've not seen a single player since i started or if you could just get in the water you can actually walk on the water which is pretty cool i think i found out how to leave the village i kill this fox I can kill this fox. Let's go, baby. Okay, maybe the fox was too much for me to take on. I'm probably going to die on my first battle. Bro, the fox is too strong. All right, now we're back in the village again, but I found out how to actually leave the village. Oh, this guy looks like Zabuza. Can't even talk to him. Dude, there's a big summoning toad. Yes. You have to be level 10 to use a summoning toad. Okay. All right, we are back in the forest. We got to dodge all these foxes that are going to smack us in the face. Why are these foxes so strong? I'm just looking for the larva, my dude. Just looking for those larvas. What is this thing? This is a dragonfly, level five. Okay, is a dragonfly a little than a fox? Fox is level nine, so maybe I can beat a dragonfly. Dragonfly, can I beat you? Oh, then they can attack back. Oh, wait, they can, they can, but it's very slow. Okay, we can beat a dragonfly. Maybe we'll get level level two or something. I don't know. Do I get experience? Charge up my chakra to see if that does anything. All right, I'm beginning to think that I have to do something else to get out of this village, and this is not the right way. Visit the Avery. Maybe we do this quest here, and we'll be good to go. We gotta visit the Avery. We expand the map. Maybe we can find what the Avery is. Okay, it's this little area down here, wherever that's at. All right, so this building here is the Avery. Um, I guess this is where the Jonin are. Okay, we're still like in a tutorial. All right, there we go. Mission completed. We talked to this dude. Visit the Jutsu Scribe. So this is where we're gonna we're gonna learn how to make Jutsus, I guess. So now I gotta find out where in the world this Jutsu guy is. What are these trash bags over the map? Can I like get something out of those or something? There's one right here above me, so maybe I can go check it out and see what that is. Oh, I see the trash bag. Is it like a quest to collect all? The the trash bags in the village or something oh you get stuff you receive one rubbish i think i got some money too but i don't know all right so i went out the side gate here i don't know where this takes us to but the map tells us that it takes us to silky crater and wind pond maybe this is where we actually can pop those bugs out or where those things are if we can complete a mission that's all i want to do is just beat these larvae and complete this mission. All right, there's a lot of dragonflies, and there's a really big one over there. I see dragonflies. I see kind of everything. There's a bell event. Dragonflies don't count as larvae, do they? Yeah, I already killed one dragonfly. That would have counted already. Larva, yes, level one larva, baby. We figured it out. All right, this should be easy, right? We kill enough of these. Do we level up? All right, there we go. One larva down. Let's find some more. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it. Okay, they don't do too much damage to us, which is awesome. But we got to kill 35 of these bad boys. Oh, I dropped something. What did I drop? What is this? You got a cursed coin. Okay. Let's kill 35 of these bad boys. And then once I finish killing these, I'll get back to y'all. Because this is going to be the first quest that we complete. Wish I had some like shurikens and stuff to throw these guys. I think you got to buy those. And those are probably expensive. Kind of sucks that my only jutsu right now is the stupid log jutsu. That's not going to help us. I'm sure we would have won another one actually if we would have uh, went to that dude or whatever. We got one cocoon. Can we sell this stuff? I guess we'll find out once we defeat these guys. I don't know if we're getting experience or not is the question. That's the, that's like the main thing. Killing larvas, but am I getting experience for it? 
feel like I'm definitely killing a little bit faster. That, that one died really fast. Oh, I leveled up or something. Level three, actually. Level three, Ginnian. You can see the stuff that you have here. I am now the naked Miss Ninja. Fear my nakedness. Wait a minute. Did those have like defense bonuses and stuff though? Nah, there's no defense bonuses. All right, we are leveling up, which is good. I think uh, we're going to be able to complete this pretty easy now. Because they're not able to do much damage. And we're going to be doing more damage the more we fight. So we'll just keep fighting these guys. And then once I've killed... 35 of them have completed the mission i'll let you guys know or if something else cool happens i don't know if i'll get any crazy drops or if i'll get anything else but we will see i activated my jutsu i want to see i want to see it in action oh <laughs> it worked or did it i don't even know if it worked i've barely seen it like do anything oh i teleports you behind the guy okay i'm gonna keep punching these guys i don't even care if I die to these, well, I mean, I guess I could die, right? That would suck. Then I gotta walk back out of the village again. So I'll kill one more, then I'll heal up. I've never actually healed in the game, so this is my first time healing up. All right, so we've got a few things here. We got the bandage thing. Okay, there we go. Just double click it, and you get healed. I guess it heals over time. It doesn't automatically heal, which is okay. Oh, I killed 35 of these things a while ago. Okay, <laughs> we killed 35. I guess we can go talk to the people. Maybe we'll get some experience for it. We gotta go turn in our mission. The naked ninja strikes again, boys. Um... I, I don't know. All right, there we go. We completed it. Mission complete. You've accepted a daily mission to take out the trash. <laughs> Remove five trash bags. All right, that's fine. I can do that. What is this thing here? Like some random thing here on the ground. All right, we still got the other mission we got to complete that I don't know how to do it yet. So some random ninja down there. Um, I guess let's take out the five trash cans, all right? Try five trash bags. That's going to be an easy quest to complete. I will expand the map for this one because... This makes it so much easier to find trash cans. Wait a second, can we buy like a sword or anything like that? We can't buy any of these. We can't even buy a dagger. Oh, it'd be cool when we get a sword. Then we can be so much more better too. Yeah, we level like five and stuff. Yeah, we level up, we level, we level four now. We only got level four from that quest. I guess we can continue to quest up. I think my goal for this episode is to get a sword or something. All right, let's expand the map. And we've got a trash bag. There are, we need five. And there's only five in this this little village right here. This part of the village. All right. Let me get stuff for knocking these things out. Yeah. All right. We got one rubbish. I don't know what you do with rubbish, but I'm sure you can do something with it, right? All right. There we go. Trash completed. We can get some more money and some more stuff. I also want to know where the Jutsu scribe is. Use the map button to find specific locations. I don't even know what that means, man. All right. I'm just going to turn in the quest. I'm not going to find that village scribe anytime soon, I don't think. All right. We are back, mission guy. Our mission is complete. There we go. Mission completed. Take out the trash. Ant infestation. I bet we can actually kill some ants now. All right. I found a way out of the village, the western side. Um, so this is a new area to explore. Um, we still have that quest to kill the ants. Um, I'm not sure if we'll find any ants. Probably won't. Probably will find some things that are worse than ants. Oh, there's like larva here. We could have came over here to kill larva. Ooh, what is this big red thing here? Angry larva. Oh, that's even worse. Okay, I got away from these guys. Come on. Get away, get away. Okay, so ants are a tougher. Oh, uh, this is a fire ant. Wrong move. Wrong move. Wrong move, buddy. Okay, you can get attacked by more than one thing. Bro, I'm just walking around the village and apparently a village raid is about to start in 15 minutes. I have no idea what that means. I, I'm definitely not ready for that. Oh, I think I found the scribe place. Finally. All right, we, we got a scribe. Okay, blank scrolls are by enemies. They can become a summoning contact or a syllable scroll. Then we can seal jutsu in them, and that's how we get our jutsu powers for becoming a ninja. Bro, they made it so hard to find this place on the map. It's not even on the map, I don't think. Oh, never mind. It's right there. Village scroll shop. Okay. So the next place to go to is the tool shop. Probably this building over here. The mist accessory shop. There's a, a panda here. So this guy just sells glasses. <laughs> okay. All right, we will find the tool shop eventually. I keep finding these gold bars everywhere. I don't, I don't know what these are. Maybe they'll be used for something in the future. Yeah, maybe the indoor market is where I have to go. I I don't know. Or maybe it's this area here. I think, nah, this is not it. Just a vacant house. Oh, I could buy some ninja stars. They're expensive though. I don't know if it's worth it. I think that was part of the mission there. Okay, visit the clothes shop. I think I know where that one's at actually. All right, yeah, it's in the very northern section of the town. But we are going to slowly complete this quest, I promise. Are these quests make you want to move a lot? We just, have, we just talked to the clothes person and the next thing that the same quest is giving us, the next objective is to go talk to the eastern Jonin guard at the gate. Um, so... I'll meet you guys over there. All right, we are here at the Jonin. Um, I guess we can talk to the Jonins or whatever. But now we gotta go speak to this dude at the Western Gate. Oh, I think I seen another player. I just seen somebody run through here. All right, I might have seen another player. It's hard to tell who's a player and who's not though. All right, here we go. Next Jonin. 
Let's complete this quest. Alright, there we go. Your next goal is to reach level 10. <laughs> now it wants us to actually fight the ants. We're level 5 now. But yeah, I guess I will defeat the rest of these ants. And then we'll see if we can afford a sword then. I think we can probably get one by that time. Yeah, on the screen right now it says village raid points have been reset and the war is on. I think the, the ninja war or whatever started. I'm not really sure what that means. There was a guy earlier running through the village. Maybe he's going to be part of the war or something. I have no idea. I'm assuming that there's some like pretty cool stuff you can do with like clans and battling each other in this game. Alright, in this right here. Here is my last ant. We've completed 50 ants now. Um, let's go turn in the quest, and then hopefully we can buy a sword and stop punching. All right, bro, we completed your mission. Give us what we need. All right, ant infestation completed. Let's go ahead and describe another mission, just just because. Mission: 10 million dragonflies. I'm not gonna do this dragon this quest, but defeat 65 dragonflies, bro. I don't know what level this guy thinks we are. Those things are kind of tough, actually. But maybe not if we had a sword, though. But 65 is still a lot. All right, I think we might have enough money now to actually maybe get a little sword or something. I don't know. All right, just normal swords. We have 175 Rio or whatever it's called. Um, I'm trying to see what we can buy. We can buy a wooden katana. I think that's it. We can buy the dagger, too. Wait, can we even lift this? It says you have to have 12 strength. Our strength level is only 5. Oh, I have skill points that I could have been using when I was leveling up this whole time. I am so dumb. I am dumb. All right, we want to get our strength up. Let me, can we only add so many points? Okay, I added way too many right there. All right, we're just going to add that many to our strength. No, we don't want to do that. Can I get rid of that and then bring it back up? All right, really quick. What, how much strength do we need for that sword? I might do the dagger instead. I think it does more damage. Maybe it doesn't do more damage. Daggers are pretty cool. All right, I think for now we're just going to go for the katana. So let's add 12 strength for now. Didn't even realize that this is like how you did it. All right, there we go. We now have 10 strength. We still have 20 points. Not really sure what the rest of this stuff does, but we should be able to actually buy um, a, a sword yet. Not a special sword, just the normal kind. We can buy our first katana. Uh, yeah. We will buy that. That's the first thing we actually bought in the game, too, I'm pretty sure. All right, now let's equip this katana and, like, see what it does. You do not meet the stat requirements for this item. 12 strength, bro. I'm dumb. I am so dumb. Dang it, I accidentally put three. You know what? We're going to need more strength in the future anyway, so we'll just go ahead and do that. But there we go. Dudes, we have a katana now. Check that out. All right, now whenever we attack, we attack with this katana. But it's, like, a lot slower. Maybe I should have bought the, the little dagger instead. Um, all right. Anyways, that was our quest, our objective for our quest today. Um, I guess we can go test out the katana really quick and just see what it's going to be like. See how much more damage we can do to ants now. Um, what is the, what are the, like, four skills or the, whatever skills do, like the fortitude, the intellect, and stuff like that? Um, do those increase, like, your defense or something? I, I have no idea. Alright, we are back. And how much damage can we do to this guy? Me medium amounts of damage. I feel like we don't do that much damage, really. I feel like we're doing about as much as we did before. If I increase my strength, I could probably do even more. The dagger might be better. Because the dagger has whatever. I'm going to give myself 10. So if I ever do get to go up to that point, I'm going to use the dagger or whatever. So there we go. 10 intellect. I'll increase everything else by like 2 points. There we go. And then I'll put the rest of it into strength. I feel like that's going to make us do more damage. But now we're like even stronger. Awesome. Let's see if we can do any more damage now. We can pop eights now, dude. We can pop eights with this thing. Let's take on one of these big fire ants here. Yeah, these fire ants are no match for us as a ninja, my dude. Actually, they're still tearing me up. All right, but that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this one. This was like just a little look at um, what it was like to be a ninja. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you guys want to see more nin online. And if you guys want to play with me, then be sure to make an account and get started in nin online today. Thanks for watching.